As a forensic accountant, I'm involved in lots of things. Our primary obligation is to the courts. So um, we prepare documents for lawyers and some examples of the things that I've been working on so far is I've helped to revalue a business for a tax event. And at the moment, I'm working on um, helping to quantify some damages for an audit negligence case. Hi, my name is Emily Bew and I'm a graduate forensic accountant at Edwards Marshall. I had two days of training and then on day three, I got to my desk and my boss gave me two folders and pages of financial statements and said, here, have a read of this, see what you think and then come and see me. So I had a read, I um, did some highlighting and then just tried to get a general feel for what was happening within the folders. I didn't use a lot of my technical knowledge straight away. I just sort of approached it with common sense. And then I found that helped to make it less daunting so I could go in there and discuss it with my manager. Because they don't expect you to know everything, first of all, they expect, they want to know how you think and how you interpret. So that's what I went in there and tried to do. When I'm analysing new data, I like to approach it logically and think of areas where the biggest changes could occur. And I think the most obvious place, first of all, is changes in net profit. And you need to think of the things that feed into net profit and just, yeah, approach it really logically and think what kind of industry is the business in, you know, draw on all of the different things that you've learned over your degree and also just using common sense. I think the biggest thing is applying what you've learned at, U at uni to a real world situation. And you can do it if you just sort of extrapolate the two and then combine it in a different way. During my company revaluation, I had um, one of the subsidiaries had a stock holding in a company that existed in 2008 but was then delisted in 2010 and the valuation that was done by the partner that I was working from was at June 30, 2010. So the shares had been revalued as part of the new company but I had to value them when they were held by the old company. So because the company wasn't delisted and then removed completely, it was bought out by another company, the company's shares were just gone. I could not find the financial data at all. Um, I used ASX, Yahoo Finance, Capital IQ, I went everywhere. I asked people, but um, then I realised, oh, somebody else might know how to do this better than me. So I exhausted all of my own resources and then I went and asked somebody else if they knew how to do it. And one of the financial planners has a membership at um, Comsec and they're able to get historical financial data as a, you know, as part of that, that membership. So he was able to secure the share price for me um, on June 30, 2008 of a delisted company. If there's any advice I could give, apply yourself now and save yourselves five years in the future. You really reap what you, what you sow early on in your degree. So I got off to a bit of a shaky start in my masters having not done any sort of commerce before. But as I applied myself and sort of built it up over the two years that I was there, it has helped me so, so, so much now. I actually failed introduction to accounting, which, you know, for an accountant to admit is pretty horrifying. But the first time it made me realise I really like it, but I just can't understand it. And it's really how much you apply yourself to it, um, which is I got a distinction the second time around. So to go from a fail to a distinction in, you know, two months, I was pretty happy with that. <laughs>